First tonight, startling new information about the safety of work zones across the state following two deadly accidents in just a week. In the most recent, five people were killed, including four members of the same family. And just days before that, a local woman died, her 10 year old daughter critically injured in a work zone crash. Right now, there are 26 major road projects underway on North Carolina highways. And listen to this. There were more than 5,800 crashes in those work zones last year, killing 26 people. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown live with our investigation. Rachel, a lot of us drive through construction zones every day without thinking about the danger there. Sarah, we do, and one error out on the road can potentially cost you or someone else their life, especially here along construction zones when speed and lane spacing is constantly changing. This 10-year-old girl fighting for her life, hospitalized since last week. Her 41-year-old mother killed. I know there was traffic and construction. Highway Patrol says Waleska Rodriguez of Shelby died when she ran into a stop tractor trailer on I-85 in a construction zone. The family now raising money to help with medical expenses for little Karina, who suffered injuries to her skull, neck, and spine. Doctors, they've done all the testing and she's gonna be better, but it's just gonna take a long time for her to heal. Tragedy struck again Tuesday. This video from the scene of a fiery crash near the South Carolina border. A family of four and the driver of a fuel tanker all killed on I-95 when the tanker rammed into their pickup truck, causing a chain reaction, once again in a construction zone. These are the numbers from 2016. According to NCDOT, there were 5,831 work zone crashes across the state, a 20% increase since 2015. Speeding and distracted driving accounted for more than 50% of all work zone crashes. And more than 75% of these crashes happen during the day. Although she can't bring her sister back, she hopes no one else has to lose theirs. Just pay attention to the road. There's a lot of distractions and just be very, very, very careful. The family of that mother killed is thanking everyone for their support. We've posted a link to that GoFundMe page on our website at WCNC.com. I'm reporting live in Uptown Charlotte tonight. Rachel Brown, NBC Charlotte. Rachel, thank you. Breaking tonight, the